Papa Putnam, right? Yeah, yeah Papa Senior. Papa Senior. Yeah. Joey's under the weather. Yeah, Joey, uh, you know, 14 last night in the rain. He rain, wasn't feeling too cold. good today. Uh, he's gonna be ready though. Like, yeah. are we giving him extra days off or no days off uh, until then? Yeah, we give him extra day of rest, uh, just like the horses. So we, we want him in good shape for the weekend. So and, and Saturday night, that's that's the big night. Saturday night I mean, is the big night. Even she got a, a week off with a bye. Yeah, she got a week off with a bye. Which, Listen, I, I was that an Indiana thing? You got a bye? Like, how, how did that work? Yeah, I mean, it's they new. were just like, oh, it's your home track. She doesn't lose. Yeah, we'll just give her a bye. Yeah, exactly. It's new to me, but uh, a couple of you know, top fillies ahead of her won the race. They hadn't raced much, so we'd been racing uh, several weeks in a row. So, you know, it worked out good for us to get a week off. She's won, what, six in a row? Yeah, she's won her last six. Do you uh, remember what it's like to not win a race? It's been so long. Yeah, I raced uh, four last night, and uh, they all lost. So, yeah, <laughs> I remember well. You do remember. Yeah. So, but that's the horse business, right? You're going up and that, down. I mean, you, you have uh, – how many horses do you have here? Yeah, we have about 35. 30, so yeah. that's that's kind of the deal, right? you got yeah. a race, and then, then you, you go from down here all the way up to the Breeders' Crown. Yeah, that's that's 100% correct. Uh, every day is a new day, so you never know what's coming. Joey's going to be one of the youngest to ever start in a breeder's crown he may actually be the young hollywood would know hollywood I, would I, know he would know yep. uh do you have any are, are you like what's the relationship like uh you know driver to trainer all or son, all that stuff how how, how are you going to handle that yeah i mean you know we've worked together he he comes and helps train and jog and stuff so you know we've worked together a lot and obviously he's doing all the driving for our horses now so uh, we we have a great relationship you know uh, discuss the horses, you know, professionally, professionally, right. you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I critique him a little hard, but listen, he, he's still at that age. He's about a three-year-old trotting cult, right? Still yeah. probably gets up in the rigging a little bit. You got to settle him down. That, that is uh, true. Uh, that's exactly just how like Irvin Marcus and some of the other father, son, uh, yeah. son duos. Yeah. Every once in a while, you gotta, you, you gotta rein him in a little bit, right? He probably gets a little, little rammy, a little, little headstrong on the left line. You're yeah. Easy there, Joe. Yeah, easy. That, that's a hundred percent correct. He doesn't always want to hear my, uh, critique of races and stuff, but, uh, <laughs> You know, overall doing a great job and uh, couldn't be more proud and more excited for this weekend. So, I mean, overall, just in general, it is the second time we're in Indiana. This is kind of your uh, uh, what's your what's your official title as far as racing, all that stuff like that. Um, you know, so so our Indiana Standard Bread Association, which obviously is co-sponsor of this and stuff. I'm the president of that organization. So we have about twelve hundred members. Uh, do a lot of great things for the people in Indiana, so um, that's fun. And then uh, you know, oversee a pretty big stable here, so you know, lots on the plate. So it's it's. Were you involved in the 2017 edition as well? Like that that was kind of. Yeah, I, I mean, I was on the board. I wasn't the president that year, but uh, we didn't have nothing racing. Um, but yeah, we were a big part of it, and uh, you know, it was really cool to get it out here for the first time. So this is nice. We're back and, uh, you know, should be back in the in the years to come. Right. That's the game plan. Yeah, I mean, let's hope so. I mean, we'll see how it all goes. But, you know, we have one of the few big tracks left in the country. Yeah. So um, we have a great facility. Uh, I know we got Delta, uh, you know, kind of a, a, a low hand with all the, you know, I, I think there's something going on in the world. Right? Yeah, so that's, uh, what, I, that's what, what I've heard. What I heard, what I yeah. heard. But, you know, in the end, we just power through and, and Hoosier will have a good night. And uh, you guys can, I think you guys are one of the later races, right? So you guys can cap that off. I mean, you got to represent Indiana pretty well, well, right? Well, you know, we're hoping we make a great show. Can't let these guys come in from out of town yeah, and, 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 and you take know, your championships home. It's the best of the best. So, you know, we're just happy to play with them. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But, I mean, uh, you are going to be fighting against the 2018 champ the 2019 champ and kissing in the sand has now uh elevated herself so you got three horses that are really uh at i mean probably the best the best open pacing mares ever yeah i you know i think from top to bottom i mean you know kissing in the sand like you said sharting in i mean caviar and, alley I caviar mean, alley like, all incredible mares so like, like i said we're excited to you know be in the same conversation so we'll see how it goes but this is still america right if you ain't first you're last yeah, well, hope, hope, no, no, hopefully it's, not. Is that you know? okay? Like, are, yeah. are, are you guys okay with whatever happens, happens? Yeah, you know, we don't have no no super big expectations. Our mare's in great shape. Uh, if we get a good trip, I think we'll make a good showing. And, hey, you know, you're racing for 300000 so uh, money is good. Her magic number's got to be seven in a row. 
That would be beautiful. Right, that's nice. That would be a real nice number. Uh, Joe Putnam, good luck. Thank you. We're here with, I've, I've been told it's Joey, but listen, you're in the Breeders' Crown now, it's Joseph, okay? You gotta be a little bit more professional. You can't, <laughs> let, knock the old man off the coop, you're Joseph now, is that fair? That's fair, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, how old are you, you're like 18? 22. 22, yeah. he's he's a grown boy, yeah, he's yeah. not even grown yet. He's, he's still got, you know, still got room to grow. Yeah. First Breeders' Crown, right? First Breeders' Crown, yeah, family horse too, so. You didn't even get a chance to get acclimated to the Breeders' Crown because they put you right into the final. They're yeah. like, he's too good, just go right to the right, final, right? right? Now we got a buy, so it worked out good, you know. The, uh, who, who chose to take the buy? Uh, Dad did, you know, we thought it's best. Our mares raced four weeks in a row, okay. so she needed a little bit of a break. Do you remember what it's like to lose? I asked your dad that because it's been six weeks. Yeah, I mean. It's been six six, six in a row. I lose my fair share every night, but, um, but not with she's her. been pretty talented. Not so with her. It's been a big summer. It, a big it, summer. It's been nice, right, to have a mare like that yeah. and now stepping up for uh, the Breeders' Crown? A blessing just to be in it. It's going to be a good time, you know, no matter what shakes out. Now, do you know, like, Tim Tietrick and Dave Miller and Dexter Dunn and, um, you know, all those guys? I mean, we're not buddies just because they're not around here, but That's when right. they come they're... to the driver's room, you know, hey, how you doing? So Okay, did they come up to you or did you go up to them? I always go up to them, okay. you know, but they're all right. They're nice. Do you call them Mr. Tietrich and no, Mr. No, Miller? Just like, what's going on? You what's know, up, bro? Scotty. You know, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, so now, now you're racing against them. Right. It's a privilege. And, 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 and so like you got, what, what, you got the rail? Uh, two hole. Two hole, two yeah, hole. Yeah. So you control the race. Right. I, uh. This is your track. Right. Your race, right. your mare, right. Right. your state. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh, How's it gonna go? I don't know. I mean, it could go a few different ways. I'd like to be sitting up close with them all. You know, they're good mares, so can't be too far back. How do you like to? How are you gonna beat Sharton and Kissing in the Sand wow. and Caviar Alley? You got Breeders' Crown champions all over the place. Yeah, I got a few game plans in my head, so okay. we'll see. And, and behind the gate, that's that. You, you yeah. can't stick to one yeah, plan, no, right? Five or six plans. You know, don't know which one will shake out. You got it's plenty. Of, you got plenty of practice. We got to let you get back to work because also too, he was play. He's already like the dry, like those guys playing prima donna driver, <laughs> taking off time. Right, doesn't right. want to come to the farm to right. jog and train. You know, I'm train. there every morning yeah, uh, and yeah, qualifiers. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, we'll, right. We'll, but anyway, Joseph right. Putnam. Thanks, my man. I appreciate you. Get back you. to work and uh, and. We'll We'll see you in the, the winter circle right, on yep. Saturday. All right, I hope so. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks.